Recently, I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across a tweet that talked about a program that can save you quite a lot of time. It was a tweet by Cody Warner talking about the ReCut program. And basically what it does is it analyzes your footage, determines where the silent parts are, and then it automatically, in a very clever way, removes the silent parts, making a whole bunch of jump cuts. I have to say it is a pretty impressive piece of software because it can save you so much time. If you haven't heard of it, the program is called ReCut and I've been going back and forth with the developer. I've been giving some feedback and my initial thoughts on using it. So how it works is you drag and drop your footage into the ReCut standalone app. From there, it analyzes all of your footage in just a few seconds and then inserts cuts into all the areas based on the settings you input that have silence. So first I'll go through the process in real time so you can get an idea of how quickly this can be done. And then I'll do a slower breakdown walkthrough of the entire process so you can get an idea of what I'm doing and follow along. So this is the program ReCut and you'll see just how quick it is. And just like that, I am done. So this was a 30 minute video originally, but because of the automation process of it analyzing the audio and then deleting all of these uh, blank silent spots, it made 217 cuts. So the original duration was 30 minutes and now we're down to 22 minutes, 46 seconds. So that's quite a lot of footage that it cut out automatically and quite a lot of cuts that I don't have to make now. All right, so I'm gonna delete this and we'll go back and then now we'll walk through exactly what I was doing to get to that final result. So we drag in our footage into the top part here. So this is gonna start analyzing and since we've already analyzed it just a second ago, it happened a little quicker there. And as you can see, if we zoom in, you have all of these sections here which are a different color than where the uh, audio waveform is. So in the silent section up here, you have your threshold, minimum duration, padding, remove short blips, skip silence, etc. So up here are settings that you can customize to get the desired result that you want. So let's move a few of these and you'll get an idea. So, so the higher we go, the less cuts it'll make and the lower we go, the more cuts it will make. Then for the padding, this is basically, you know, the space at the beginning and end before your audio. So on the left side, you can see what that does. That's basically like the breathing room after you finish a word at the end of a sentence. So I think it's a good idea to leave a little bit of space. I think around, you know, 0.6 or so is fine. And then on the other side, typically when you're doing vlog style YouTube videos, your cuts are gonna be pretty quick. And I would suggest having this side a little tighter than the other side. That means the line will be cut pretty closely to the starting word. And then in your editor, you can fine tune that. Next we have remove short blips and that's basically saying that this is the threshold so any clips that are shorter than this amount will be left out. And then of course you would want skip silence to be on and cut where all tracks are silent or where any tracks are silent. So for me I will keep it on all. Once you have these settings where you'd like it, it will save this for the next time you open recut which is nice. Then from here you can go do export, but if you do want to split up your file into multiple sections, you can mess around with the split on silent. So this will, you know, split all the clips into different segments. So at the export page, you can actually export a video in whatever resolution you want with MP4, WAV, or M4A. But for us, we're actually going to go to the timeline, choose our editor. So we'll use Adobe Premiere.xml since that's what I'm working in today. And then our goal is to remove all of the silent parts. So we want to make sure that this isn't checked. And then we go to export, save it. We can go into our editing program. We go to file, open, and then we'll navigate to the XML file, which is right here. We'll click on open. And then it automatically creates a sequence for you that matches the resolution of your footage. And then it has all of the 200 plus cuts that ReCut made. And just like that, you can use the up or down arrow 
to go through and jump to any part that you want. And at this point, you actually don't even need to use your mouse because if you press the, you know, if you don't, you can press space bar, listen to that. If you don't like it, you can press delete, down arrow, go to the next part, delete if you don't like it, down arrow, delete, down arrow, or you can, you know, skip a bunch of parts. And because Premiere highlights each one, it's kind of a cool way to edit. And I think I'm gonna adapt this style of editing where I'm using my mouse a little less because now through automation by using recut, it has made a whole bunch of uh, cut points for me within just a few clicks. Just wanted to break the video up here for a quick second to let you know that we have a ton of resources on our allianwheel.com website, like our color grading Let's Pack or our Premiere Pro Motion Graphics Mogritz Pack that we use to speed up the editing process in most of our videos. We also have a business success ebook that I recently wrote for creatives and entrepreneurs that includes how we structure our business, make money, earn passive income, the apps, software, and subscriptions we use, as well as a ton of other resources and sales strategies for growing growing your business and landing clients. So if you're interested in any of these, they're on sale now at the allianwill.com website or through the link in the description. Okay, that's it for this video. And thanks again to Cody Warner on Twitter for reminding me that this is a program that does exist and for giving me that inspiration to download it and actually use it. And if you wanna pick up Recut yourself, I've left a link in the description. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 videography related videos. So lots of tutorials and camera how to's for you to learn from. All right, we'll see you guys in another video.